Today, ladies, are you ready to turn back time? Five ways that we can lose 10 years. That's right. From non-surgical facelifts... There's nothing out there like it. ...to one laser that zaps away wrinkles, age spots, and loose skin. I can handle that. We'll show you five brand new techniques that can make you look a decade younger. You ready, Belly? Yes! Yes! <laughs> then, 30 years after Charlie's Angels, Jacqueline Smith's as stunning as ever. That brought back some memories. So who better to ambush these shoppers... Oh. I thought you were a mannequin at <laughs> With surprise make younger makeovers. I can't believe what happened to me today. Take off 10 years in 60 minutes right now. Welcome. Okay. Um, clearly, we have a lot of gizmos and gadgets and contraptions sitting up here, but before I tell you what all this stuff is, I want to see a show of hands in our audience of how many people here would like to look 10 years younger. <laughs> the people that did not raise their hands, you're all big fat liars. <laughs> and I, uh, I wouldn't play cards with any one of you. Um, today, our good friend Dr. Yoon is back. Come on over, Dr. Yoon. <laughs> To help the 84% of the people that did raise their hands, he's going to show us the five latest, greatest breakthroughs in science that claim they can erase 10 years off of this area here. Correct? Exactly. So yeah, these... It's a big promise, actually. Well, and I think I'm going to keep it, because these are some of the hottest new things out there. Take off 10 years. They range from minimally invasive to actual surgery. But the things they have in common is they're all state-of-the-art, and they all have maximal results. I like all that. I like the non-invasive ones the best. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll cover that. Okay, well, first of all, what is this big blue crazy looking thing? Well, as you know, 3D is all the rage in movies, and now it's coming to our TV sets, and now it's actually in your plastic surgeon's office. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the 3D facelift, okay? Now, facelifts used Wait. to be... Now, did you used to be able to just get a 2D? Like, just, yes. just lift, really? So those are the facelifts where we looked at it, and we thought aging was two-dimensional, basically, where things just drooped. So what we, what we would do as plastic surgeons is lift it up. But what would happen is people would look tight, they look pulled, they wouldn't look natural. So the idea behind a 3D facelift is to tighten up the skin, but also to add volume into the cheeks, under the eyes, and believe it or not, even in the lips. Really? Yeah, so... Well, so you really were doing 2D facelifts. Oh, exactly, and a lot of people still are doing that. Wow. Yeah. So That's what, creepy, huh? What I'm going to show you now, this is the Axis 3D. And, and to help show you what a 3D face-up looks like, we're going to utilize this device. So we actually have one of our viewers with us in the front row, Teresa. Hi, Teresa. Hi. Wave so everybody knows. <laughs> Which one's Teresa? <clears throat> so have you thought about doing any sort of procedure before now? I just, this is a family trait, this lower jaw, you know. Jowls? Yeah, the jowls, the Sega Yeah, it's jowls. in our family, too. It's about the only bit, thing I think of. A little bit droopy thing, yeah. 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 Same thing in our family. Mm -hmm. So, Teresa, you sat in front of this little gizmo I thing, did. right? So, so now walk us through the so next So what step. this does basically, this is creates 3D virtual plastic surgery. So with the Axis 3D, we can actually take a three-dimensional picture of a person's face and then alter it to make them look like they've had a rhinoplasty, a brow lift, a facelift, or any real facial procedure that we want. Wow. And that's what we did with her today. Okay, so can, can, can we show the so whole class? So if you take a peek at the screen, uh, this is Teresa without anything done. As you can see, it looks a little strange, but it's a picture of It looks of her weird. Earlier. It's shadowy. I yeah. mean, that doesn't look at all like Teresa. Yeah, but what it does is it gives us an idea of what she can look like if she had a 3D facelift. Oh, so if you look at her look here, at and we can actually look at her in, in different from different views. Look at that. And from the side, you can see here her neckline much tighter, and I actually add a little bit of volume into her cheeks. And you can really see it when you look at... Kind of when you look at it front, tilted... And it helps to fill in the, yeah. the uh, hollowness under the eyes. And so this is an example of a good 3D facelift. And, and hopefully can get people an idea of what they can have if they have surgery done. So this would have involved what? Had she done this procedure? It would have involved about four hours of surgery, little scars around the ears, uh, fat injections to the cheeks, under the eyes, and tightening up of the skin and the muscle. And I know you can't be specific, but what's the ballpark about how much that might cost, that amount of work? Yeah, anywhere from eight to $10,000, depending on where you have it done. And the interesting thing that I've seen in my practice is women, their results last much longer than men. Really? 
Yeah, and the reason is, is women, you know, women typically take care of their skin much better than guys. You know, That's we right. just wash our face, throw a little soap on it, we're done. And when men get older, the skin isn't nearly as good. You do a facelift on them, does not last nearly because as long. Because women moisturize more often than men. Yes, exactly. Mm. There's so, another thing you could learn from us. <laughs> so just for kicks, we also thought, well... <laughs> A lot of people wonder, how would I look like if I had the works? If I sign up for every, if I won the lottery, I signed up for everything, and Nose, I did too brow. much. Wow. So that's what we did with Teresa, too, just for fun. And this is what she would look like if she had way too much work done. <laughs> so you can see she's got a brow lift, her nose not is Not a good idea, chicken. No, My God, chin right. implant. <laughs> that's so terrible. This is that, not what ridiculous. we want to do. No, that, this is not what we want to do. That's cartoon-like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you, you're not even considering that anyway, no. right? No. Now, what do you have next? Well, the next thing we have, you know, we've talked about 3D, but what's uh, what else is big right now in TV? Well, vampires. Okay, vampires are big in TV and movies, and they're also now getting big in plastic surgery. So the next thing we're going to talk about is the vampire facelift. And it's a real procedure. It doesn't lighten your skin or give you immortality. Is that the technical term that you well, guys are using? Well, it's what people are calling it now. And it does appear to work. So that's what I'm going to show the you The twilight right now. technique, people. What the vampire facelift entails, basically, is drawing up of a person's blood. I'm going to have you hold this, if you don't mind. I don't want to hold somebody's blood. Well, it's actually, it's my blood, so it's okay. Oh, yeah, well, that makes it so much warmer. <laughs> so what you do is you actually draw a person's blood, you spin it down, and you take out the actual platelets. And so you can see this is actually my old blood cells. Now, this has been sitting in my fridge for a few days, so it's a little natty looking. That's nice. But, and these are actually the platelets and the growth factors. And what we actually do is take those platelets and growth factors, and we can actually inject it into wrinkles of the face to help fill them out. And actually, we did, it, we did the vampire facelift on one of my patients back in my office in Michigan. And let's see how she did, okay? All right, let's take a look. Right, let's take a look. You're kind of hollow here, mm -hmm. and you're hollow right through here, and we're going to inject right up through here. We're going to Maureen's here. here to have a vampire facelift. And basically, she has found, as she's gotten older, that her face has gotten uh, some wrinkles, it's gotten some depressions, areas that she would like basically filled out. So we're going to go ahead and get started, and basically what we do is we draw a person's blood, we separate the platelets and the growth factors, and then actually re-inject it into areas of the face. So I'm going to start by spinning the tubes down, and we put in a centrifuge because we're going going to use only a part of the blood and we find that when it is re-injected into wrinkles and areas that have become depressed or hollowed out it can actually fill them out over the span of several weeks so I'm going to have you just go ahead and lean back and I'm going to start with the lines through here the interesting thing about the vampire facelift or cell fill is that there's nothing out there like it mm -hmm. I feel a little poke here sorry I do get a lot of patients who come in, they say, well, I want to fill in some wrinkles, but I'm afraid of having something foreign injected into me. Well, the great thing about it is we're using a patient's own blood. That's not bad at all. Not too bad? Yes, mm -hmm. it's the smallest needle that they make. People can get a really nice filling out of the face, typically within about three to four weeks. Results appear to last about 12 to 18 months. Oh yeah, I think it looks great. And yeah, it's going to be real nice. When all is said and done, we've kind of filled in under your eyes, mm -hmm. through here. Wow, that was fast. Those. Yeah, very Incredibly quick. Incredibly quick. And what a difference. Maureen's procedure went great. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. Uh, she's a little puffy, a little swollen, but give it about 24, 48 hours, she's going to actually look like she did before, and then give it about three to four weeks, and we're going to fill those areas out. I think it's going to look fantastic. Okay? Thank you so much. Thank You're welcome. You. You're welcome. Wow. It's hard to watch other people getting injected, even with yeah. their own stuff. <laughs> yeah. But that is fascinating. How much does a procedure like this cost? Uh, it costs anywhere from $850 to $1,200. And uh, typically, it's actually very well um, uh, tolerated because it's your own tissues. People don't seem to swell that much. Now, we actually have some early results of Maureen. Okay. And they're only about four days after the procedure. So let's take a peek at her. And, wow. And it's early, but you can see on the right, things are just a little more filled up. And what happens is about over the next three to four weeks, it's actually going to fill up and fill out even more. So her results would be best a couple of months in, and they would last 18 months? 12 to 18 months is about what you're seeing. Gotcha. Okay. Still, that's fascinating, right? Not bad, and it's a lot, <laughs> not less expensive yes. than getting cut. Yes. I see we have another good sport here, um, and she's got some stuff on her face because she's good. getting ready for she's getting ready for something rather billy right right billy what is it you're you're having trouble with what is it you want worked on well i've been concerned as i got have gotten older for wrinkles age spots and loose skin 
a triple threat. Yes. Exactly. Well, the big thing, like she said, there are three things that bother her. And as you know, good things and bad things come in threes. That's so, true. So this is a Trinity, and this is a three-in-one laser, okay? And what it does, basically, it targets all three major signs of facial aging. Age spots, wrinkles, and loose skin. So we're going to do a treatment on Billy today, if that's now, all right. <clears throat> I know we all have to put on goggles yep. for this, right? Yep. You guys all have your Everybody little Matrix on? goggles? You ready, Billy? Yes, I'm all right. ready. Oh, my God, she's right. like, yes! <laughs> Get rid of wrinkles! Okay, so the first part of this is called a photo facial, and you may have heard of that. That's been a popular thing in the past. I'm going to go ahead and lean you back. And what the photo facial does is it basically targets brown spots. How does it treat the brown spots? What's what's happening? Like, well, what's what it will actually do it? is it will zap those brown spots. It'll turn them actually darker by, by attacking the melanin and make them go away. And within, within three to four days, they just fall right off. So don't freak out when you look in the mirror and you got these brown things on your face. <laughs> so now I'm going to actually switch out the head here. And this is the only thing that takes a minute. So the next step we're going to do is called the refirm skin tightening. So the first step is to attack those brown spots. The next step is to tighten up her skin. Uh, so, um, Billy, if you had to tell, you, tell us, what part of your face do you feel like you have the loose, most loose skin? Here. I think Everybody it's, it's says the that, chin right area. area. The jowls and the chin. And yes. it seems like women and men, when you get into kind of the late 40s, early 50s, virtually everybody has some looseness here. A little bit of droopy. Yeah, and that's what facelifts typically treat, but not everybody is, wants a facelift, obviously. And so the good thing about some of these minimally invasive treatments is we can actually get a nice change without having to go through surgery. And the cost is anywhere from $1,000, $1,500 for a series of treatments. So it's, it's not too bad. So it's sort of the same ballpark when you're doing these non-invasive treatments. Mm -hmm. You're looking at a year, year and a half for your results. Exactly. And so okay. if you're not going to go under the knife, you're not going to likely get 10 years or anything like that out of it. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and start the next step here. And this is a skin tightening. So she, we've already actually uh, put some cream on her here to get her all ready. Is that like some sort of contact gel or yeah, something that helps yep. the laser move more there you easily? Go. So she may feel just a little bit of a sting with this. Not Billy, I, I saw you twinge a little bit there. Is it is it bearable? Yes. Not too bad? Yeah. Not at all. Because of the skin tightening, it's a little more uh, aggressive than when we did her brown spots. You can see she tolerated the brown spots real nicely. This is just a little bit more. Cool. It's just like a, a, a bit of a hairbrush touching your chin. I can handle that. I'm, I'm man enough for that. Yeah, that's what it felt like. Okay, then the last treatment. And this is the last one. This is called the Matrix, and it's a fractional laser. Basically what it does is it attacks wrinkles. So what we're going to do, actually, is take and attack the wrinkles kind of in the same place you had some of these dark spots. Okay, a little discomfort, maybe. She didn't flinch at all. No. Good job. <laughs> Thanks. You all right? I'm tough. Good. Now, for the wrinkles, same thing? Does it take a few weeks, or is that an immediate notice, or what? Definitely, this does take a little bit of time. So we can take our goggles off here, but it does okay. take time uh, for this tightening to work. And I know you have a before and work. after to show us yep. for this so procedure, let's, too, Yep, so let's right? take a look at some before and afters. And this is a person you could see. Wow. A lot wow. of dark spots. This is that photo facial part of it. is a big deal. And this is so, another patient. Now you can see this is more of the skin tightening. If you look at the amazing. skin under her neckline, and once again, no downtime, very little pain. The, the, now we only did a few areas with Billy here, so you know, if this was really done live, we would actually do her whole face. It'd take about 45 minutes to an hour. Takes about an hour, but that's nothing. Takes an hour to do all three of those things? Yep, and you do it every three to four weeks for three treatments, and people usually get real nice results Three with it. treatments, and then they'll have results that dramatic for about a year. If you, as long as you take care of your skin. Once you go out in the sun sunscreen, too much, you smoke, stuff like that, then it can ruin the results. Moisturizer, so sunscreen, take care of your skin. helps everybody look better all the time. Definitely. That was fascinating. I especially love that. Now, when we come back, Dr. Yoon is going to lift and plump some stuff. If you want to find out what, you got to come back after this. that we can lose 10 years. We've already covered the 3D facelift, mm -hmm. the vampire lift, the blood injections, right? And uh, that groovy little three-in-one laser. Yep. Now we're gonna do a non-invasive brow. Yeah, yeah, so okay. as we get older, what happens? Our brows get droopier and we start looking kind of grumpy. And so in the past, all we've well, had we really is surgery. Grumpy, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> There's lots of reasons to be grumpy nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, um, what this is actually, the, it's called Althera, and it's the only FDA-approved non-surgical brow lifting device. Althera. Althera, yep. Althera. We'll have all this info on our website, incidentally, if you want to download this and take it to your dermatologist or your doctor. And this is Eva Marie. Eva Marie, you don't look like you have a grumpy brow at all. No. <laughs> but it's, it's bothering you a little bit, huh? Well, I'm going to be 50 next year, so I thought I could take 10 years off somehow. All right. But you're looking good for 50. <laughs> Okay, so you're going to let us know if this hurts or not, okay? Have you lean back. Take so, one for the team. So let this me, is not a laser, so we don't have to use any uh, goggles or anything. But This, this actually, is not a laser. No, this actually uses ultrasound. And the great thing is if we put it on our forehead, and you see here, you can actually see the layers of the forehead. This is the skin up here. Oh, wow. This is the fat, and this line here is her actual bone. And where these green lines are is where we're actually treating. Now, what exactly is this doing? What's the ultrasound causing to happen? Well, what the ultrasound's doing is it's actually affecting the deep skin and the fat, and it heats it up, tightening it up, creating a lift. Wow. Yeah, so the great thing about this, though, is we can actually see on the on the screen, I'm going to put it back on you here, and where it, and we're it doesn't actually hurt. treating. No. And we can see actually Does where we're treating. Does it feel really treating. hot? No, it feels cold, and it's, it feels like it's <laughs> tightening up. Really? Mm -hmm. People can get actually an immediate result with this. No kidding. Although typically it takes about three to four months to see your final result. Takes three or four months, and then how long does that last? Uh, it typically lasts at least a year. Some people find more. Oh, wait, I don't want to get to oh, your... stuff on your hair. And we have some before and after photos actually to show you, too. Oh, let's see. You can take a look at these. Take a look at them. You can see how her brow is definitely higher in the wow. after picture. So it's a non surgical lift. You can also do the rest of the face with it. And again, there's that one year. Thank you so much, Thank Eva Marie. You. It's that one year result. Whenever you're doing non-invasive, yep. it's usually a year to yep. 18 months. If you get more than a year, you're really fortunate, typically with these types Three of non-invasive treatments. Three treatments on the brow lift thing. How long does that last? Uh, the brow lift itself? I mean, how long does that cost? The cost is anywhere from $1,500 to $2,500. And typically, you actually do the whole face. It can lift the face as well. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So again, we're in that same ballpark of price and time. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So this is Darla. Hi, Darla. Hi, Rachel. And Darla is uh, strikingly beautiful. What are we going to be doing to her? Well, as people get older, our lips get thinner. And a lot of people now are having lip injections, not to look strange or puffy or like a duck, but to just look like they used to. But you were warning me earlier that when you first get a treatment, you will look a little puffy, a little you out will, of sorts. Initially, and that's what we're going to do with Darla today. Darla, okay? have you ever done this sort of thing before? I have not done this yet. So are you a little bit nervous? I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> yeah, I mean, needles near your mouth, I mean, it does sound... It sounds a little bit scary, it does. No, and what we're what using actually today with? is Prevel. And Prevel Silk is one of the newer types of fillers. And the great thing about this, of all the fillers out there, it has the least amount of swelling, downtime. It's FDA approved for treating wrinkles of the face. We're going to use it off-label today to pump up her lips. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Are you now, into that off-label stuff? I'm fine like, with that. <laughs> I'm sitting here. No, I, in, I injected her lips. Just getting it on tape for legal reasons, Darla. <laughs> Now, I injected her lips with some anesthetic, so that's why she's moving a little funny, and when she talks, it's going to look a little mm -hmm. strange, okay? Okay, I'm going to have you go ahead and lean back, and what we're going to do is go ahead and start injecting her here. Wow. Little poke, sorry. How you doing? You okay? I'm doing good, thank you. He, yeah. he did numb your lips, right? He did. How much would this sort of procedure cost, Dr. Yoon? Um, actually, Prevel is not that expensive. It's about $350 for a vial, and uh, typically lasts anywhere. It does not the longest lasting, maybe about three months or so. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, three months. What does off-label mean? That means for use other than what it was specifically designed for. Yeah, and a lot of medications are being used that way. It's just something that we always need to um, inform our patients that, once again, it's something that isn't FDA approved for that treatment, but usually it's approved for something very similar to that. Wow. And we're almost done here. <laughs> All right, you're sweating more than she is. I know, it's so hard to see needles on a lovely person and not be able to help them. <laughs> As you can see, I've used the entire syringe here, and her lips it are bigger, very but natural. she doesn't it look, look, look kind of yeah. crazy. Have you ice up I know you want to get ice on that, but if you can look straight at it, screwy. can we see a split screen? Is that possible? Wow. Oh, that looks great. I mean, it looks really natural. It doesn't look weird at all. It looks terrific. You'll see when you get to the mirror. So, again, we have all of the information on all five of these techniques and procedures up on our website. I mean, once again, thank you, Dr. Yoon. Nothing looks Thanks, too Rachel. scary.